Emma Watson is being blackmailed after speaking out. I was immediately threatened. The website shows a countdown with the words, Emma, you are next. Threatening to release naked photographs of me. Since she was a child, she's been stalked and sexually targeted. We never talked about it on the film because we were all just kids. There was only one Harry Potter co-star she could really trust. Tom was the one that I could be vulnerable with. But even Tom couldn't stop the attacks. So angry. Just raging. This is like a real thing that's really happening now. The blackmailers will stop at nothing to ruin her life. Will Emma be able to stop them? There was a website that was set up threatening to release naked photographs of me with like a countdown. I was just, just raging made me so angry. Ugh, they were threatening to release naked pictures of her. Users from the controversial website 4chan were threatening to release the pictures of Emma as revenge. But this wasn't the first time Emma felt threatened. For years, she's been targeted and preyed upon. SML produced a skit titled Hermione's Groat Spurt when Emma was just 14. With Harry Potter, they like are making him look small and, you know, young and, and goofy and innocent. But with her, they're like trying to make her yeah, like a sexy school girl. My transition into womanhood was dealt very differently. And the older she got, the more obsessed the media became with sexualizing her. British tabloid The Sun printed a countdown to her 16th birthday, which is the legal age in the UK. And what should have been one of the best nights in Emma's life turned into a nightmare. I came out of my 18th birthday party and um, photographers lay down on the pavement and took photographs up my skirt, which were then published on the front of the English tabloid the next morning. Uh, if they published the photographs uh, 24 hours earlier, they would have been illegal, but um, because I turned 18, they were legal. It makes you very afraid of being bold, of, of being brave, of really going for it. After years of being harassed by the tabloids, Emma was desperate to pull away from the public eye. You were considering pulling out? I never really spoke to you about this. Yeah, I think, um, I think I was scared. The fame thing had finally hit home in a big way. We never talked about it on the film because we were all just kids. I was never gonna turn around and be like, hey, how you doing? Like, is everything okay? Although Dan and Rupert never noticed Emma's pain, there was one person who did. The more I saw and understood what her life was like, the more empathy I had for her. I became very defensive of her. Pom was the one that I could often be more vulnerable with. For years, Emma has loved and admired Tom. I walked into the room where we were having tutoring. The assignment that had been given was to draw what you thought God looked like. And Tom had drawn a girl with a backward cap on a skateboard. And I just don't know how to say it. I just fell in love with him. Is that he turned me on, he's like, oh, I see her in like a younger sisterly way. And it just broke my heart. Little did she know, Tom was hiding how he really felt. My girlfriend at the time knew straight away that there was something unspoken between us. I remember using the familiar old line, I love her like a sister, but there was more to it than that. I've always had a secret love for Emma. Emma thought she was alone, and her fear of putting herself out there kept her from living her truth. I was very insecure. I was constantly fighting the fear factor. I think it was incredibly difficult for her. Some people just didn't understand that. Although Emma was on the outside, it allowed her to see what was really going on. My girlfriends started dropping out of their beloved sports teams because they didn't want to appear muscly. My male friends were unable to express their feelings. Emma realized she had to speak out for herself and others because nobody else was. We are launching a campaign called He For She. We want to end gender inequality. Both men and women should feel free to be sensitive. Both men and women should feel free to be strong. Emma Watson's gender equality speech proves she's becoming a groundbreaking activist. It had never been about being an activist. It was about the choice to make myself visible. But little did she know that by making herself visible, she was actually putting a bigger target on her back. Within less than 12 hours, I was receiving threats. Emma Watson has been targeted by internet trolls on the site which hosted naked celebrity photos. The website shows Watson next to a countdown with the words, Emma, you are next. That the media immediately reported it as fact. It's not like she's saying men are worse than women. It's about gender equality for both genders. And then now it's like to punish her, they want to use her sexuality. Against her, yeah. to shut her up. No matter what the tabloids were reporting about Emma as fact, Tom saw her for who she really was. 
I began to see her not as a little girl, nor as a public property celebrity, but as a young woman who was doing her very best to negotiate her life. I think that she's a fantastic influence on the world. I absolutely think the world of her. And as the countdown got closer, Emma refused to back down. I knew it was a hoax. I knew, I knew the pictures didn't exist. It made me so much more determined. Yeah. This is why I have to be doing this. If they were trying to put me off it. <laughs> did the, the opposite. opposite. Wait, so they didn't even actually have pictures of her? No. It was all a hoax to try and stop Emma from speaking out about women's rights, but her voice only got louder. Emma Watson shows support to victims of Harvey Weinstein's harassment, stating, I stand with all the women who have been sexually harassed and am awestruck by their bravery. She didn't just stop at speaking out, she wanted to make a real world impact. She funded a hotline for women facing sexual harassment at work. This issue doesn't just affect women in Hollywood. This issue is affecting women everywhere. By sharing her true self, no matter who threatens to shut her down, Emma was no longer on the outside. For the first time in my life, I found my tribe. Finding people that I have something in common with, who work together and support each other. And she didn't forget the one person who'd seen her all along. You know that person in your life who makes you feel seen? That person who knows, really knows, what is happening to you and what you're going through without anything having to be said? For me, that person is Tom Felton. Although they never dated, their relationship is deeper than romance. They even call each other soulmates. Emma's bravery and vulnerability inspired Tom to share his own story. Tom Felton opened up in his memoir saying, I was encouraged by Emma to tell the whole story, not just because it was cathartic for me, but also in the hope that sharing those parts of my story will help others. Being able to express yourself, being passionate, being emotional, it's what makes you human. It's so powerful to see how she went from being afraid to put herself out there to now putting herself out there no matter what anybody thinks. I am willing to be seen. I am willing to speak up. I am willing to go forward even when I feel alone. I am willing to be my biggest, bestest, most powerful self.